save. But I think I need the hover chip to get to it. Don't I get attacked by somebody here? If I remember correctly, I get attacked by the, uh, some of those, uh, guys from the, uh, the, the tournament in, uh, Goals of One. Oh, excuse me. The, uh, Spartan guys. The ones that are all hyper-aggressive. You should remember, but you don't. I'm gonna have to come back to this cave too, because I can't get that Mercury Jenny without uh, the other party. I knew there was nothing here. Now, I do know there's a. I think there's a Mars Jenny in this village. A car reads. Put eighty coins on the counter. You can stay. I remember this place now. They don't. They don't talk to you. This guy's using a sign. Mopa ordered us to let them stay. I don't know why though. I don't like... It's not like we locked the doors. Hmm. Outsiders? I don't like the looks of them. I'm just going to wait until they leave. Ugh. Foreigners. I'm not going to waste my time even talking to them. Rude much? I ain't even do nothing to them. They treat me like I'm a plague. Cause like we don't even lock the doors. I don't remember what was back this way. It's just a chest. The spirit gloves. Raises power, uh, synergy points. It's a four point increase for her, but her agility drops significantly. Which honestly I think is fine. 10 point increase for him. I kind of wish it was a boost for Felix. It only drops it by one point. In exchange I get a crap ton of synergy. It's just better.
Yeah, I don't. I feel like anything that lowers my defense is just not good to have. It's not right now, at least. I can't go in the shop yet. There's the Jupiter Jenny. Seems to be locked. Yeah, everything here seems to be locked. These foreigners look trustworthy, but I don't I know better. They may seem nice, but all outsiders are wicked. Mean? Till the chief says otherwise, nobody will talk to these outsiders. It's the law. So you guys got a law that dictates you being disrespectful or rude to people? Well, same as the brakes, right? This is my house. If you're looking for, um, Malpa, here I am. Back up. Give me some room. Who have we here? Strangers in the Shaman Village? What is your purpose in coming here? Shaman Village does not appreciate intruders. You're not welcome here, Outlander. Leave now and never come back. If there's something you want to say, hurry up and say it. I'll listen, but not for long. What's wrong? Nothing to say? Then what are you standing around for? Get out of town. Oh. That's the shaman's rod. We thought it was lost forever. It once belonged to the great, um, Obana. Uh, was that Hobana? Or is it Hobna? I'm not really tired on how that's pronounced. It's Hobna? I'm gonna say Hobna. Yeah, we'll go with Hobna, right? Ah, it's weird. Uh, Hobna's staff was a gift from his great friend in Contigo, Yegalos. When Yegalos gave it to him, Yo um, Hobana accepted a great responsibility. He vowed to care for the sacred treasure of the Contigo, the Hover Gene. When the Shaman's Rod returns to us, we are charged to give the Baron the Hover Gene. Have you outlanders come to claim the Hover Gene? I suppose we have, yes. That's a shame. We'll never give you the Hover Gene. But we brought you the Shaman's Rod. What's, uh, what's stopping you from giving us the Jade? Obana handed the hover jade down from generation to generation for our care. We are to return it to the descendants of Yegalos, and you are clearly not from Contigo. That's preposterous. We've returned your rod. We've come so far already. What difference does it make if we're not from Contigo or not? Make no mistake about it. We are the intended recipients of the son of Yegalos. Is there some way we can get our hands on the hover jade? No! No, unfortunately, guys, you, in fact, are not the recipients of the Hover Jade. The true recipient of the Hover Jade is Ivan. Just imagine how much quicker this could have gone if we had Ivan right here, right now. Right? No, you asked the impossible. What about the test? Would that be a bad idea, Malpa? You know, trial road. Only Egalos could walk that path. The way of the vanishing sand. Yes, if you outlanders intend to claim the hover jade, you must fetch it and bring it here. If you people have the courage, follow me. If you told us this was a test to begin with, we'd have been out of your hair by now. What kind of test is this? I understand that you're a little concerned, but unless you try it, you'll never know. Give it your best, Felix. Sounds like they're going to make me do the work. Mopa left the door open and strangers got in. Ah, but they're gone already. <laughs> Those are the first foreigners I've ever seen. They don't look so different from us. Yeah, it's probably because we're not. I don't know what kind of lies people have been telling you, but we're not all that bad. Yeah, there's some bad people out there, but that. It's very few and far between. Oh, I can't reach it from over here. Wasn't that a shame? 
right, so I think we'll save Trial Road for tomorrow. Not tomorrow, uh, Thursday. So I think Thursday's gonna be Trial Road and potentially Jupiter Lighthouse. Right? You can do it, Chiba. Leave it to me, Jenna. This will be a breeze. I don't believe it. They did it. The sand vanished. The legends, they were all true. She's the one. She must have come from Contigo. Her? She's the one that did it? But she's just a girl. Well, you wasted... Well, you wanted the sand to vanish, so... Can we have the hover jade now? Nope, you still can't have it. What? Why not? This was just a test to see if you earned the right to take the test to earn the stone. This was just a test to see if you earned the right to take the test. <laughs> What kind of roundabout crap is that? So there's more that we have to do before you'll give them the stone? You'll have to reach the end of Trial Road. The girls too. Surely you can't make them. I thought that only the Chosen Hero could travel the road. What are you saying? I can't be the Chosen Hero? The heroes have always been men, ever since the time of Havana. I'm a Holdna. It is the way. I don't like your attitude, mister. I can be every bit as heroic as some guy. It may be true, but you must respect our customs. It's the same in Contigo, you know. If you don't like it, take it up with Yegalos. Hold it. Hold it. Malpa, what were you just saying about the Trial Road? If we reach the end of Trial Road, want our names to join the ranks of your heroes? Friend's right. It shouldn't matter if, the, if a girl does it. All that matters is that we finish. If you give us the chance, we'll prove it to you. Unless you're afraid that a girl like me might become your town's newest hero. Hey, they have earned the right. Shall we let them into Trial Road? I don't like the way these outsiders were talking to me. I think they need to learn exactly what it takes to be a hero around here. Yeah, if these guys are so stubborn, let's give them a shot. They'll probably give up. You said it yourselves. We're too stubborn to quit. Yeah, if you want us outlanders to leave, you better give us a chance to walk, to walk Trial Road. Yo, Jenna and... Shiva are like hardcore. Trial Road is a difficult one. When you reach the top, a terrible battle awaits you. It's difficult enough for me. I expect you will find it quite impossible. Still interested? You seem confident, but it is your ignorance speaking. I actually thought Shiva and. Jenna were gonna the square up and punch him. I was actually expecting Jenna and Shiva to square up and punch him. Oh wait! Skate provides you with an opportunity to practice your skills. I didn't say that Yegalos and um, Obana once fought here. These columns com um, commemorate this. They raced one another to the summit. And there they fought with all their might on the peak of the mountain. In honor of their greatest battle, the leaders of Shaman created this trial. The rules are simple. This room, the room is filled with traps and sna um, snares. Use the power of Contigo to avoid them. This road has four doors to open them. You will need to place items in these chests. Chat! Felix actually spoke! Felix is talking! He's not a mute! It was all a lie! Felix does in fact have words! <laughs> Why? The door is triggered only when treasure chests are filled to the correct weight. Try putting in, try putting heavier items in, like weapons and tools, into the chest, or the doors won't open. If you reach the door after your opponent do, opponent do, you will be at a serious disadvantage. You see it? We'll take twice the weight to open the doors. 
Set on the switch and the number of chests you need for, to fill will open. If you're last to each of the four doors, you will lose eight um, um, items to the chest. Chara moves too much for you. Press this button. This ends the battle, though a true warrior would not surrender so easily. In order to reach the battle at the summit, you cannot fail on Trial Road. Do you understand? Yes. Then you, under then you understand the treacherous path of Trial Road. Will you continue? You have heard the rules and you wish to continue. You have been warned. Choose the road of your liking. It matters not to us. Um. So is there any visible difference between the two paths? In terms of the traps and stuff that are um, in each one. One path is easier than the other. I'm assuming the left path is easier than the right, right? I mean, the sand one looks like you just sand, you just use sand and you go all the way up. Oh, but yep. You were supposed to get worked out today, but you procrastinated again. I mean, that's fair. I got most of my studying done today, but I play both. Though right now I'm doing retail, uh, just because Dragon Flight's out, and uh, that's that's what I've been into right now. Um, I was supposed to play some Dragonflight today, but, um, and I think I'm like level 60, halfway through level 64. Um, but yes, yeah, so I was supposed to play Dragonflight today and work on getting, you know, closer to 70. But, I had the strong urge to play old school RuneScape, so that's what I did. <laughs> After I finished my studying around 2 o'clock, um, I, that's what I did. I played old school RuneScape. Um. Actually, one o'clock. I start I because I was studied from around nine ish to around one, and then from one to two I play old school RuneScape, and then from two to to three or two to four I was supposed to be taking a nap, but I ended up just watching anime until like three o'clock when I actually finally fell asleep. <laughs> Welcome. You only play classic, but all the people I was going to play with haven't played in months, so you grind up to eighty and then um and they dipped. I mean, I, so I have a level 70-something shaman. I'm currently questing through Dragon Blight. I think that's what it's called, Dragon Blight. Um, but, of course, I got side-checked by Pokemon Scarlet Violet. Uh, um, Mario Rabbits. Um, World of Warcraft Dragon Flight. Um, and I, st I still haven't played Sonic Frontiers. I have so many things I need to do, and I just can't because I have so much to do. Is this a new Golden Sun playthrough or the same? It's the same. It's the same. This is the second Golden Sun, though. This isn't the first one, but it's the same. Golden Sun 2 is a long game. You're on the Peg um, Peggle server? I don't even remember what server I'm on. <laughs> I Wait, let me see. I could probably look that up. Give me a second to, uh... Wow, Classic, where are you? Wrath Classic, where are you? I'm gonna log into my account real quick. Also, how you doing today, Infuriated? Don't forget, I have your, uh... I have that other flash drive, it's ready to go. Um... Whenever you're ready, Infuriated. Come scoop that up. Oh, so where'd my controller go? I think my computer might have.
I froze. Is my stream still live? I was like, I think my computer might have froze. Okay, there it goes. It's it's back up now. I'm on my uh, Mizeral, Mizeriel. It's so my realm that I'm on is this is my realm on classic Mizeriel. I also have one character on a realm called Atiesh. Um, though I haven't really been playing too much on that character. You haven't renewed your sub in a while? I don't think I've ever gotten rid of my sub. Yeah, I'm a level two, level 72 Shaman. I also have a level 59 uh, Death Knight. Wrath of the Lich King is actually my favorite expansion, though. Um... And if it wasn't for Dragonflight, I would still be playing that right now. <laughs> Was Pete Wild for you? Yeah. Though Dragonflight is turning out to be just as good. If you have chosen, then we shall take the other path. On the count of three, the challenge begins. Are right, you guys ready? Time for the race. unfortunate because that means the entirety of the uh, Hobana fight was not on stream I don't think any of that was on stream let me check my uh, recordings but I'm, I'm pretty certain that it did not record any of it yeah my apparently my OBS froze but it didn't give me an alert um, that it froze Or I should say, my stream died, but it didn't give me an alert. According to my OBS, I was still live and running, and my OBS itself was still moving. It wasn't until I tried to stop the stream, did my OBS freeze. And I was like, oh, okay, well, that's weird. So I'm trying to see how long I was actually gone. Seventeen minutes. So yeah, I think I was gone for like fifteen minutes. Ah, oh, it's so unfortunate. The entirety of the Malpa fight. I was so focused on the fight that I wasn't paying attention to the fact that the stream had froze. Leave it alone with your thoughts. Yeah, that's unfortunate. That means the entirety of that trial was not there. Oh my god. So then, what the heck do I do now then? Is it even worth continuing the, the let's, the, not let's play, the uh, spotlight? I did. But like, that's a, that's a decent chunk of it. <laughs> that is a whole decent chunk of it just gone out the drain now. And unfortunately, I don't even know if Infuriated is still here. Um, I assume he wasn't here, otherwise he would have told me if my stream had frozen. Because I can still see chat. 
So the assumption is if he was still here, he would have, you know, at least alerted me to the fact that I was frozen in time. Yeah, at least I didn't. Well, hopefully, because, like, I didn't drop any frames, nothing. I just stopped working. Oh, I saw the rip. But I thought you were talking about... I thought you were talking about my World of Warcraft. I thought you were, because I was talking about World of Warcraft at the time, so I thought that's what you were talking about. Um, I didn't even realize that the stream had stopped, because I was on World of Warcraft at the time, looking to see what my, uh, what, what RAM I was on. So yeah, that was my fault. I didn't know what you're talking about, so that's my fault. I'm that, I'm that guy that you have to say it, tell it to him straight, otherwise he'll, it'll just go right over his head. That's me right there. All right, we got aroma. <laughs> you disagree? I catch him to things very quickly. Uh, well, <laughs> apparently not quickly enough. Y'all missed an entire segment. Very true, very true indeed. So, I, I'm i gonna go back to using, I like using OBS because I can see what my stream looks like in real time. Um, as opposed to if I'm watching it from my, uh, my, uh, whatchamacallit, my dashboard, um, or, or my, or rather my stream manager, it doesn't tell me exactly what's going, it's like, it's delayed. It shows me how, you know, the delay that the stream would see. Which is fine, I guess. It's just a little irritating when, you know, it's slightly delayed. You don't have to explain everything you say. I wonder if I can change that setting. Like, personally. Probably not, right? I think that's just streams. I think that's just a streams thing. I'm just afraid now to not have the video player up in my face for my, uh... You know what? As long as I can see the uh, time, the session time, I think I should be able to keep up with uh was that the stream's live all right so we're going back up to i believe there's a jenny up here might not hurt to have my well right now my phone is open to my baby's camera so i can't use it for anything else i used to have my phone up into the stream but now that we have the the kid, it's open to that now. Baby camera wins over everything. You're not wrong. I was a little one. She is close to 15 months. My 
My bad. She's close to 14 months. Her birthday was in October. That's when she turned 12 months. So 13 would be November. 14 would be... Oh, no, no. She's close to 15. Because 14... She turned 14 months December 4th. Um, and then she'll turn... 15 months on January 4th. So, yeah. She's, she's close to 15 months. So, what? A year? Almost a year and three months now? She's probably one of the most expressive yet picky babies I've ever seen. Do you remember when your nephew was young? He's nearing uh, 16 now. I tried to use Whirlwind thinking that it was still, you know, quick key. But I forgot I changed it to uh, not so Whirlwind. Baby's getting old. How often do you see your nephew? Scoop! Scoop! Scoop it up! It's raining hard out where I'm at now too. I hope it doesn't freeze, because that's going to be annoying. I can't do anything here yet. Ah! It's always the lift gym. It's always the lift gym. Has anyone told you how much I despise lift gym? Of course, so I have to walk all the way back because of the game. Birthdays, holidays, and every now and then you drive down to visit? Cool. The boulder was such a, such a huge spoiler for you because of the, the whole lift function? I literally have to walk all the way back and this is dumb. So do you mean it was a spoiler in terms of whether or not you'd run into the old characters from the first game? If so, I can definitely see that. For me... I had the feeling that we would find the lift ability again, like we would randomly get, you know, the ability to use it some way, somehow, because, you know, video game. Just like we got the ability to use Reveal, when the first one said the only way that we could get it was by it being passed on. Alright, so I think we head back out now and we're going to get attacked because video games. There's a Mercury Jenny in here. We can't get it because we don't have lift. Lift is the key to everything. Add a few drinks so my thought... So my, that's a spoiler filter is impaired. Ba 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 do be do be be da ba be be ba ba da boo da ba be 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 da be da be da be da ba be da ba be ba 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 do be da ba da ba da be da ba da ba da boo ba boo. Forgot how fast she is. Kushmo fire. Oh well. That's my attack, why don't you? Flash Aging gas! 
So I figure I wouldn't dig my own grave even um, even further. Fair enough. <laughs> No one can fault you for that, right? You gotta kill the assassin. I don't know why I thought she had some crystal powder on her. Let's go with a storm ray, right? Okay, I was about to say, I was hoping for a crucible fire, but we still killed him. It's fine. Level up! I guess we're gonna get attacked out there. Or maybe we have to wait until we get Isaac and friends back. I guess now is to figure out whether or not there's any more Jenny or if there's any Jenny on these islands or whatnot. big island with very little going on going for it so you would think there'd be at least one Jenny or something hidden around here Plans for Christmas. Um, I believe the wife is gonna be cooking stuff for Christmas, so most likely we're just gonna chill around the house then. If she's gonna be if she's doing the cooking, then we'll probably just chill around the house. Be a potato. I'm probably gonna make some uh bake some cookies and whatnot. For the baby, so she can have some cookies. Means I'm doing the dishes. I mean I do the dishes every night as it is, so. That's nothing new. My, my wife will do it some nights. Like, some nights when I stream, she'll do the dishes. But usually I'm the one that does dishes before I stream. Every night. She doesn't like doing dishes, though, so... She would prefer for me to do them. Start doing the dishes as soon as you can reach the sink. <laughs> You know what? I never did ask her why she doesn't like doing this. I only just know that she doesn't like them. You're always on Clean and Gilly for holiday meals? Well, another bright spot about my wife is that she tends to clean as she works. So there's usually not much for me to do afterwards anyway. I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to going to, her, to my in-law's house for Christmas if she just didn't feel like cooking or whatnot. I'm not opposed to it. I just have to make sure I bring something for me to do because uh, it can get a, a bit boring. Because me and my wife, we're big gamers. But uh, I can't say the same for my in-laws. Uh, so with the exception of talking to my uh, brother-in-law... 
not really much for me to do. And I know this would be really bad to say, but with my daughter, she gives me an excuse to not have to, to like, come up with conversations when, so like, when a conversation kind of just fizzles out, I can be like, okay, I'm going to take care of the baby. <laughs> just got to get away from having to think of something to talk about. It's a nice out. Or, or, I can be like, they can be like, okay, I want the baby now, and they'll take the baby and leave me alone. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I guess I'm just gonna, you know, chill here. Relax myself and chill here. Checking every place that might look like it could house a Jenny. Don't get me wrong though, I definitely love my in-laws, but I'm just an awkward person. Uh, when it's not about like video games or something of that interests me, uh, I it's just awkward. Like when I don't have anything to talk about, I don't. It's like I, I don't have anything to talk about. What do you want from me? Understand them. Same thing for church, that kind of stuff. Like I'm religious to a, to a certain extent, um, but I get extremely tired when I get bored, <laughs> and because of that, I I don't go to church. A lot like I used to go to church every Sunday but now I go every once in a while like just when we're feeling the urge to go to church and that's just because once the sermon starts and the, and the, the pastor's just talking 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 I'm just trying not to fall asleep the whole time <laughs> it's like I find it interesting but at the same time lectures bore me so I'm just like and I think it's rude to fall asleep in church. So I was like, I just don't go. Kind of the same way. I felt like, I was like, I'd rather not go than be in there and just feel like I'm disrespecting, you know, everybody that's there by sleeping. I'm wide awake for the, the prayer and worship, though. I'll be, I'll be right there with everybody. <laughs> Woo! Clapping and stomping feet. But then as soon as that two-hour lecture, <laughs> I like. I used to go with my in-laws a lot, but COVID happened, so you know churches stopped. Church, all church, most if not all churches closed down for the most part. Um, and so we kind of stopped going too. Now I don't even think my in-laws go anymore. I know my aunt does it, though she do I think she still has like phone services every here and there, but I know my aunt stopped going. Plus our church is far away. We live in, uh, Maryland, Capitol Heights, Maryland, and her church is in like Dumfries or something like that, Virginia. So it's, it's, it's like a good hour or so away. So I can definitely understand not wanting to travel, you know, an hour to and from to sit in a service that you're probably, there, and you'll probably be there to like one, one, two o'clock. And then the whole meet and greet and stuff afterwards. So you're probably not even looking to get home until like four and God forbid bid you have to do a second service so it's like oh snap now you've been here for like five years <laughs> at which point she's most likely just like you know what there's no point in going home because I gotta come back 
I'm walking around these islands trying to see if there's any, like, random jennies just kind of hanging around. Specifically a random Venus one so that I can make up for not having flower yet. I really don't want to go back and get it. Not right now, at least. I do still plan to go back and get it, just not right now. Does anybody know where the game tickets are used in this game? I know the first one was Tolby, but I where's the game? Oh, wait, never mind. I know where they're used. Never mind. I know. I, I, I remember where they used it now. While trying to explain it to you guys, I, it came back to me. There's another Mars one. Probably can't get it without uh, Felix and friends. Must be very brave to come all the way here by boat. There's a place called Shaman Village in the middle of the continent. Supposedly one of the rivers leads to it. I have no idea which one though. People of Shaman Village are very wary of strangers. Be careful if you ever meet them. Wow, wish I came here first. Maybe I wouldn't have got beat up. <laughs> but I didn't. So I got beat up. I like how they call this a settlement, but there's like two people. And a kid. So I guess it's technically three people. Okay, so do I move this? I don't think that moves, does it? It does move. Okay, so... Where do I want it to drop? I don't want it to drop there. Uh, do I drop it down the middle? I didn't pay too much attention when I went to that other door. And now I'm regretting that. So if I dropped it here, hmm, did I mess up somehow? messed up somehow like I don't even know how to get into that door yeah I haven't seen a way into that cave Turn back up there. Am I supposed to drop it on the uh, Jenny? Why don't I remember how to get this Jenny?
Because if I drop it here, all it'll do is allow me to walk. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yep. I remember now. I see the path. I see the way forward. Now all, all I left to do is execute. Of course. Push it down. There we go. Move it over. Now the question is, does this Jenny fight and does he run? Nope. He doesn't fight. He's a kind one. Or should I say, it's a kind one. We got Tinder. So, now Mars has two Jenny that can revive people at will. They're also hostile in this game. <laughs> Surprising they're also hostile. Well, at least we have a few good, uh, good ones that aren't, like, extra hostile. Now to see what's in this cave. Yeah, I think the one I just got... Revives 100%, whereas the one that she had before, Spark, uh, has a low chance of revival. Oh, I just stole their money, didn't I? They had 166 coins saved up in that little jar, and I just took it. Let's get out of here before they realize what happened. <laughs> 